Hey, Miss Yolanda, this is Deborah, and um, I'm doing this private video because um, I'm having a moment, actually a few moments right now, and I don't want to go on Instagram with it. I don't want to go on Periscope with it. I don't want to go live with it, with the group. I might change my mind tomorrow and decide to post it to the group, but in the meantime, I did not want to mess up my perfect schedule of 21 days and let this woman win. I watched Gigi's video earlier, and it, it touched me, but it didn't hit me. But what hit me was, in like 20 minutes, 7 o'clock California time, I'm supposed to be joining in on my family reunion planning committee meeting. And I, I just started crying because it's like, why? You know, it is my family, my, my mother's side of my family. I haven't really been close to them in my 54 years. As a matter of fact, as soon as I was old enough to say I ain't going or having a reason not to go, I ain't been to a reunion. I ain't been, I've been to a couple of meetings maybe. <laughs> But as an adult, I've maybe been to two actual reunions. And one was here in Atlanta last year. And I ended up being an MC for the event. And I volunteered to be the next president in training because, you know, we need to train and whatever. And I've been active in it. Our last meeting was a couple of days before my mom died in March. And in that one, they were like, how's, how's your mom? My aunt actually chimed in. Deborah, did you talk to your mother today? And she knew I hadn't talked to her because she wasn't answering my calls. And usually if I called her and I missed it, she would call back. She didn't even call back. Um, I now know <sighs> part of that was because she couldn't. Her brain wasn't working right. But that's not the point. The point is, I didn't want to hear them talk about, oh, we're so sorry you lost your mother. And she was this and she was that. Because the woman that they know and the woman that I know is two to totally different people, two night and day people. And I just, <laughs> as I looked at the clock and was trying to prepare myself, I couldn't do it. And then I broke out crying. And... I remember Gigi's post from earlier, and I get it. But Gigi loved her mother and her father. And I loved mine. She just didn't love me. And from the day, the day after she died to now, she's still stabbing me in my heart and affecting how I look at and relate to not only the rest of my family, but my kids. What she couldn't do as far in, in, in life, which was come between us, she was able to do in death by putting them in charge of everything and taking me out of everything. And I, I thought I was okay with it, and I am pretty much okay with it. But every now and again, I go through these crying spells. So tomorrow... I will go ahead and, and go live on Instagram like I should have did today. And um, whatever tomorrow's challenge is. But today, I don't know. I just, I needed to get it off of my chest. I needed to not miss day 21. But I needed to also not be public with what I'm feeling right now. So hopefully this may scope a day. 2018 challenge to you personally in messenger will suffice and um i'm gonna go finish i'm rebraiding my hair i washed it so i was on a roll but now i'm going through some things and uh, i hate this feeling but anyway peace and blessings and hopefully this suffices love you thank you for everything that you're doing to help me get out here and be more vocal and more visible. But today, yeah, I really don't want my face or my voice to be seen or heard. 
Talk to you soon.